It's really sad that I've had to share my personal family problems uh, with the world regarding my brother. Um, but I really have no choice because he's made statements under oath about me and filed police reports on me that are false. He's tried to have me arrested several times and he's assaulted my dad. And he broke into my house, uh, stole my dad's stuff and tried to say that he was living here, even though he, he hasn't been living here in well over 10 years. And he refused to leave 10 years ago, and then about five, six years ago, he just decided to just squat in the backyard and come at my father and I. And he put his stuff in my dad's studio without any permission whatsoever, and it broke my dad's heart. My dad felt like his studio was hijacked, and my dad, at, at, at some point, had actually put all his stuff out in the curb. And I said, Dad, that's his stuff, and so I put it back inside it's about five six years ago and much of it has ended up in this shed here he's like a prima donna he's got more crap and clothes than anybody I've ever seen it's nothing to do with being a performer or anything he's just a spoiled brat and uh, it's all mice infested so I've not thrown out any of his shit any of his stuff it's still piled up in the studio but I did have to throw out a lot of garbage and empty containers that my dad was going to use to paint with because instead of it being in the studio, it got shoved into the basement. And now my brother is, is uh, filing cases against me and, and slandering my name and asking money from people uh, that he doesn't even really know that were students of my dad and who mean well, but just don't know the whole background and the story because my dad was ashamed of him and it was disgraceful. He can't really find a job. He's got a felony on his record and he's had so many instances of assaulting people and, and being violent. Um, it's just unacceptable. I, I have to protect myself and speak the truth and, and clear my name, so to speak, because he's just been a thorn in our side. Uh, for so many years. He's not helped with anything. And you could see when I start started making this YouTube video, um, there's quite a bit that I omitted and edited out for, for a number of reasons. But if you noticed, you don't see him in, in any of the videos unless there's a couple times where he decided to come over and light off some fireworks and leave or pull in the driveway to get money from us. That's it. He, uh, just refused to be around for any of the holidays and just kept manipulating my father and I. He's very narcissistic. He, he knows what to say to make us feel bad for him and to manipulate him. And he just has all this anger that he blames us for his problems. It's, it, he's really mentally ill. And, you know, I, I keep telling myself, no, he's not a bad person, but man, he's just made everything so much more difficult. And especially the grieving process for me, it's so unfair what he's done. Um.